and then I just flicked my hand and one of the Yetis on top of the mountain just kept flying upwards and up into space. Hello friends, welcome to my first recording and please excuse the poor audio quality. Please lay back and enjoy the ride. I was in a car with my university friend Sibi and I wanted to show him a shortcut where we can get back to the city way quicker and therefore we should have gone left towards the trash containers where people bring the paper and cardboards and bottles and he accidentally went straight ahead towards Mosburg and I was on the shotgun seat and we drove a bit and I thought how we can turn around the quickest and later on I was alone in the car and still in the shotgun seat and the driver disappeared and I was wondering how I can turn the car around from my seat or if I should swap seats and then I landed in the back of the car and then there were two new people which I didn't recognize at the time in the front of the car and I was having the portemonnaie of Sebi in my hand and I wanted to pull the zipper down and then the zipper disappeared and the linen from the portemonnaie slowly dissolved and I was panicking how I can fix it. Later on as we headed further towards the second city I was in the car with Joe Rogan, the famous podcast guy. We didn't take the main road towards the other city, but we went on the side road and drove through some gardens and then there was a backyard and a big ramp. We drove up there and didn't make the looping, landed back down and drove um, backwards. Then we crashed into a fence and the car earlier also spun like it's on ice. We drove backwards into a fence, then we had some analytics running and we tested and reviewed our material, how we drove. And then there were some fields where other people planted some trees, especially maroons. I wanted to plant two coconuts, but they said they are too big for the, the small field and have to plant them somewhere else and the old lady she threw them away tried to get the two coconuts back and plant them somewhere else then i uh, got into a wood workshop and i gave him some stocks and he needed the, to purchase something and wanted to give it back to me later on and i'm in the workshop and i had sibi's backpack and, and mine was currently with him he later on came into the workshop because he kind of dropped out of the car and he brought me my backpack which I forgot in the car or with him and we later on swapped it and I helped him build something and it looked like a sarcophagus, like the Egyptian coffins. I had to wait a few hours in the dream in the workshop until Sibi got back around with the car and could bring me back to town. Then he gave me a slip of paper. I didn't want to check it during the dream because I didn't want money from my friends. And later on, at the end of the dream, I checked it and I found out that he paid me around 1,000 euro for time, work, materials, stocks. And with all the valuation of the other parts, I got around 150 euro per hour and I thought it's really generous. The next segment of the dream is when I was at a snowy mountain and I saw how some ETs, like the ones from World of Warcraft, Rod of the Lich King, they just spawned slowly at the top of the mountain and came to us and they had the high ground and at the bottom of the mountain there were a few different dogs which I could choose from and level 1 dogs which have no special abilities and then there were special dogs that were way stronger and they had different attributes for example poison, darkness or fire and you 
you can pick one of them and transform into them and then attack the yetis. And the other dude that ran first towards the yetis took the level one dog. And then I remembered that I recently talked to somebody about having dreams and often using telekinesis. And then I flicked my hand and then one of the yetis flew up the ramp of the mountain and keep flying upwards into space. And I said to the second person, yeah, exactly like that. But I still didn't realize I was in a dream yet. I just visualized it very well. And after the Yeti flew off, I hid in my hometown where I grew up as a child. And I hid behind a window and had a drill in my hand to attack the monsters that come in. And somebody loaded the drill for me. And I was in the living room of my old house where I grew up. And usually there's at the entrance and then to the left there are the couches. And to the far right uh, there's the TV and all the equipment for the TV and video cassettes. And in this stream the video cassettes were behind a shelf above the couches. And I checked it out and they had some sort of order, like a library. And it wasn't alphabetical or numerical, but it was a hidden message in it because some cassettes broke the order. And it spelled out the word goggles and the attack of the mummy with Mr. Fraser was one of the clues, which I didn't get properly. Then there was a dream about hamsters, or at least one, and it was a jump and run game. And we tried to make a speed run, and the, the character landed in a pool of water and drifted down a waterfall. And I thought, now he's drowning and we have to restart the level. But the hamster was actually able to swim, and I was really surprised. And then there was my good old friend Sebi. And he explained me that an old game that's, that has been out for two years already hasn't been solved yet. And there are no speedruns for it. And other games that came after it are already cleared and not as difficult. Then I wanted to map out how the hamster should take all the waterfalls to have to swim the least amount and get to the end. And take the fastest route towards the end. And I was looking at the minimap and there were four directions it was east south another south then west but it was missing the north pole i wanted to map it out how two to two is the fastest then i had another joe rogan dream and he showed us how to make a good podcast he had different cameras in his or office and it was a really complex layout and was really impressed by it and then there were different cameras which showed some other people and guests that were there and they all took CBD drops and then there were cameras before and after and the before there were some earthquakes and the people just ran away and the cabinets flipped around and then they got back pushed them back to where they were supposed to be the cabinets and drawers and everything and then there was just business as usual and the people were continuing the work. Later on, there was the river, and there was a crocodile or an alligator that pulled a dead shark along a with a fishing line. And the shark got really muddy because of all the slick stuff in the river. And then the crocodile went into a sewer and carried the dead shark along. And once the alligator disappeared in the shadow of the sewer, Joe Rogan went out. He squatted down uh, like a gangster. Then he started to produce his podcast. And the last part of the dream was at my grandpa's place. And the living room, there were the good guys, where I hope I was one of them. And then the bad guys in the bedroom behind where the terrace is. Um, there was some kind of prison, but it's actually open space. But the bad guys tried to prevent us from getting there. So it was kind of a prison, I guess. I talked to one of the women that was hidden, and she had three eyes. Her 
right eye was a singular one and to the left there were two different eyes and one of the eyes had a green color and the other one was purple the old hippie woman was kind of a guide for me and she explained to me that the weapon can only be used by people that are affiliated with some special lord or person one of the bad guys had a really long sword which had to be wielded with two hands but on the other hand he also had a twin keyblade like from kingdom hearts and it was like like a lightsaber from darth maul from star wars i blocked the long sword with my hand i guess then i disarmed the person that attacked me then he swung his twin keyblade towards me and i blocked it with the long sword all beneath uh, a doorway which is really tiny actually and then had both weapons in my hands and felt really powerful and i was surprised that i can read those um, quotation marks emotional weapons uh, like the old woman named them and i felt really powerful when i had the same weapons now those are the explanations usually in the car those are the worst dreams I have. Um, it's like being the passenger in my life and not playing an active role. Therefore, in my dreams, I am never in the driver's seat, but always somewhere around and have to try to fix things up. And because CB is a bit messy, but ultimately he gets his life under control and he will end up being successful. And therefore, I guess he was in the driver's seat and I was driving along. While we were in his car in real life, his tank was running low and I wanted to contribute to the gas bill, but he refused to take my money because we go towards the same direction anyway. I was pretty impressed by that. And therefore, when I dreamt about the portemonnaie, the zipper disappeared so I couldn't take out the money. And I spent a lot of time checking out the stock market recently and building something out of wood that I wanted to show to him. And thanks for the dream money. The Jerome part came because I talked with a friend about Tesla and some people online brought up the Elon Musk episode with him about being in the car and going up a ramp and looping whatever. I often have dreams about being in a car and it flipping over or being out of control. Therefore, I was slipping around in the backyard, I guess. I had talked a lot with a friend of mine about Team Trees and planting them and how we can get more people to participate and grow even more trees after the event is over. And also we enjoyed memes, especially the ones from Elon Musk. Why I wanted to plant coconuts was probably because my subconsciousness thought bigger nuts give some bigger trees and they can absorb more carbon dioxide and, and overall give more efficiency. The dream of about Yetis was because I watched some recent news about a new expansion called Shadowlands for World of Warcraft and how the old expansions become relevant again. Therefore, I recently remembered the one boss from Crusader Colosseum in Wrath of the Lich King, which is called Ice Hole, and it's a huge Yeti, and therefore all the Yetis that spawned on top of the mountain looked like that. About the telekinesis is because I played a League of Legends game and asked somebody that was called Spider Monkey if it was a reference about Ben 10 and he just smiled. I told him that I often had dreams about Ben 10 and then had a dream about having a dream. I often have fake lucidity where I do stuff that I w would like to do in real life and therefore I had telekinesis. The dreams that are Ben 10-esque are usually the ones that are the funkiest. The dogs are like Evoli in Pokemon and with all the different evolutions. The dogs could also be from World of Warcraft because we recently Classic launched and I watched some streams but I didn't play it myself. Or they are from Path of Exa where there are definitely fire dogs. The drill dream was about recently needing my old battery powered drill which I've gotten as a Christmas present in 1996 or 97. 
and within a few seconds after getting the present, which was already charged, I went towards the wall outside of the living room and drilled some holes into it, and luckily it didn't have any power lines. I found a drill in my basement recently when I wanted to build something, but it didn't have the power station with it, and after 20 years it clearly discharged already. So my neighbor, who's an electrician, recharged it for me with some electrician wizardry. It still worked even after 20 years not being used. But the amount of power it was generating wasn't really impressive and it was like a strong screwdriver. The jump and run dream was because I watched some people program their own games or apps with the software called Unity. A few days after I had the dream, I found a video where an AI was learning how to play Sonic the Hedgehog and there were also some water segments to it. And also Sonic was able to go towards all directions, even left, whereas in other jump and run games the left side was inaccessible once you passed it. The swimming part was because of Fortnite. When I visited CB a few weeks ago, he told me that Fortnite has an update or oh, the server were down. When I visited him the next time, after that, he told me that they now are able to swim, which wasn't a part of the game previously. Being able to swim kind of surprised me, and therefore I dreamed about it. The complex live stream of Joe Rogan was probably because I watched some topology optimization videos for 3D printing to reduce the amount of waste it produces. Also, I thought about getting into podcasts myself if I enjoy listening to them that much. And also getting into videos. For the first time, it was really difficult to get all the different products you need. And the earthquake I've seen and heard in Joe Rogan's video was probably because there was a big truck driving on the street that is right outside of my bedroom and I probably heard the vibration from the sewer pipes vibrating while the truck drove over them and the vibration went into the house and I heard it in my sleep. The crocodile part was probably because I saw a video or something about Crocodile Hunter and how we should do things in our life that we truly enjoy. And the shark was probably from some mangas I've read recently. The Jerome part where he's coming out of the sewer and getting to work is probably because he left a very good impression on me. He just goes and does stuff. And the dream at my grandpa's place, there was previously a small puddle in the backyard. It was for some fish and around the puddle there was a wire fence so nobody runs into the puddle by accident. Uh, that was the prison I've dreamt about, I guess. The three-eyed woman with the different eye colors was probably because I'm fascinated by eye colors, especially different eye colors at the same time, which is called heterochromia, about the different swords and weapons that might be some Freudian stuff, and being affiliated with the big guys. If you at any time or any place in the video had a good time, please tap on that like button. And if you aren't subscribed yet, give me an uneven amount of subscriptions, for example, one, three, five. And if this kind of content gets received warmly, I might upload more. And a side note, I got some audio recordings reaching back into 2016. Hit the bell icon so you can get all the juicy content. If you get some other interpretations than me, or if you like my interpretations of the dreams, then please let me know about that in the comments below. And onwards to the shoutouts, and bye bye if you have to leave already. Now, special shoutouts to my friends Jos and Anton and Mr. Flade for encouraging me. Also, shout out to Mr. Flade's family and to all of his friends. And big shout out to my friend Visualize, figuring out how we can make more trees. Thanks to Sebi and Mr. Rogan for starring in the stream. Thanks all and bye. See ya.